Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about a particular TikTok account that just captured my attention for all, absolutely all the wrong reasons. While I was scrolling down the timeline the other day, I came across a TikTok and I'll put it here. Bro, hot girl summer does not exist. If you're a hoe, just say that. No shame in it for real. Like nobody gives a fuck. Like 99% of guys are hoes anyways, so they definitely can't judge you. Just don't let them ruin your vibe. Yo, ho, you're so on the nice You're ho, sorry, say, oh, he will ho, you know, shame, ho. And as you can see in that TikTok, Doja Cat herself makes fun of said TikToker. So I was like, I need to see what else this TikToker is putting out there because this thing that he's already doing here with the voice of the, uh, you know, I mean, just like, uh, uh, like if he's doing that, I just need to see more because I mean, obviously people faking their voices is by no means a new concept, but with TikTok being basically everywhere, being reposted on Twitter, being reposted on Instagram and so on and so forth, there are so many e-boys that come to mind. I can't remember any of their names because they all look pretty similar, but the fact that they're all making this fake kind of moany weird voice I think in order to appeal to women or whoever they're attracted to. It's it's a concept that I wish I'd never come across, but unfortunately here I am and pain. Before we get into this video, as you know, content like this is often demonetized, so I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve is America's favorite adult store. Not only does it come with discreet packaging, but they also donate 20% of their profit to help fight the spread of HIV around the world. They also have a 24-7 customer service and have 90-day no-hassle returns. If you go to adamandeve.com and use code GLARE, you'll get 50% off one item and free shipping in the US and Canada. Thank you Adam and Eve for sponsoring this video. The user's name is It's Not Trey Lander. Now, I think some of these are tongue in cheeks, are, I wouldn't go as far as to say that they're satirical because I feel like the majority of this is actually what this individual thinks is like attractive or funny or whatever. But I do think some of them are making fun of himself in a way. We need to go through them because <laughs> the cringe and I just want to be able to laugh at something. It's cringy and it's funny for me and probably a couple of other people who are watching. At the end of the day, if he thinks this is fun, if this is his gig, no one's stopping him. Go have fun, but at the same time, it's just so hard to watch without feeling like you're in a compressor bag. Also, I'm gonna have to mute a lot of these because of the copyrighted music, but you guys already know that. But trust, the music does not help or remove anything. Based on just that, it's very basic TikTok content. I think like millions of people on TikTok have made that one. I didn't think that one was particularly bad, but I think that was kind of the setup for me to believe that the majority of his TikToks are serious in the sense of like, he's not just clowning around, like he actually believes what he's posting. This one's a, a good one. Okay, so if I'm so ugly or weird, let me be your girl's boy best friend. Oh, uh, now you're getting a little insecure with that, huh? Okay. I rewatched this, I think, like five times because of that. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Now it's like, yeah. I, I just, the voice, I can't get over the voice. It's not even what he's saying. I feel like I space out almost from what he's saying and just like the way his voice is because to me, it's like 99.9% .9 impossible that his voice is actually just like this and, you know, oh. Uh, Oh, that oh, just, it kills me. Oh. 
But okay, let's actually talk about the message in this video. I think there's a lot of insecurity here. And I say that because who is saying you're so ugly or you're so weird? Like of all the things that people are probably saying about you, the weird aspect would be the fact that you need to like talk like this. And then, you know, have your job kind of be like, Oh no, let me be your girl's best friend. Like that's... That's what's weird. No one's saying that you're ugly or weird. What's weird is how you're acting. But I do think that there's a level of insecurity because the need to say, let me be your girl's boy best friend, which is also the shitty narrative that always pisses me off. We see it also with women. We see it with everyone generally, but like the, the mentality of, a, oh, I could steal your man or I could steal your girl. Like I've never understood why anyone thinks that's flattering in any way because you're not flattering yourself because first of all what you're trying to do is basically amp yourself up by saying oh i'm not going to respect someone else's relationship and that makes me really hot and it just it just reeks of insecurity because it's like why what does that say about you to me that just says I don't feel like I'm attractive enough and to prove that I am super attractive, I'm gonna fuck up someone else's relationship. Guys probably don't want you to be their girl's best friend because you'd be like, oh, oh, oh my God, did I tell you all the time? And people don't wanna hear that. Like I would personally stick two pencils into my ears just to avoid hearing that. There's always a nice You're how scary say no, you're a shot of my heart 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 my Okay, this one was actually one of the only TikToks that I actually found. Oh, I don't want to say the term endearing. That's far, far, far too em emotional. This is one of the ones I found more likable because it seems like he can make fun of himself, which is why I'm saying I think some of these are funny in the sense of he can take the joke, he can realize what he's doing. But at the same time, I feel like there's this deep level of narcissism and insecurity in a lot of accounts, not necessarily his only, but in so many accounts that make this type of content of like, I'm gonna steal your girl or look at how hot I am. And by all means, I love seeing people generally feeling themselves. I feel like there is a way in which it comes off as I genuinely appreciate myself, I love my body, I love my look, whatever the hell it is. And then there's this type, a bit at other people's expense, like the steal your girl thing, and it's also very superficial. It doesn't feel like they really are feeling themselves, it's more like they're seeking some form of validation. And again, that goes back to insecurity. I think I had to watch it a couple of times to see if I was missing some big punchline, some hilarious punchline. People in the comments as well were kind of mystified at what what exactly was going on here. Um, let me just show you. Oh, so you're that green vegetable that nobody likes? No, that's Brussels sprouts. I'm trying to fuck. Some people in the comments were mentioning Cole Sprouts because Brussels sprouts sounds like I don't know if I'm missing some big thing. You guys can let me know in the comments if I'm missing some massive elephant in the room, but I truly don't understand what what is going on there. Um, it did make me feel a lot of cringe because it's not funny as far as my humor goes. And it's also like, what, just like, what is going on? This might be the video where his voice actually sounds like his real voice. Cause his voice doesn't sound all, uh, you know, that reminds me, babe, what's that movie where there's the thing that goes like, uh, that's what this it reminds me of kind of what his voice reminds me of the grudge. Sometimes certain of the sounds just real close. Ugh, this one particularly painful, particularly cringy in my opinion. And again, we return to the, uh, Voice. People be like, you shouldn't want to be in a relationship so bad. I just love yourself. I'm like, yeah, I love myself. But then what's gonna be my late night snack every night? I genuinely need to try to reproduce that voice. <clears throat> people be like, people be like, people be like, I can't do it. I can't do it. Mine is a little too croaky. If I asked the girl for chapstick and she just pulls me and they kiss me, <laughs> I would simply just pass away, bro. 
I genuinely think that the voice is the most interesting part of this account. And I'm kind of wondering if he did that on purpose as a way to market himself because a lot of the other stuff he's saying is very generic, internet, fuckboy, e-boy, whatever that you want to call them. There are hundreds if not thousands of other accounts that say the same things, look similar ways, seem to never wear shirts, are always in their beds when they're posting or some other in some kind of other thing that is either implying something sexual or has some level of undress. So I'm wondering if he's actually a genius here and the voice thing was what made him kind of get reactions out of Doja Cat and then subsequently out of plenty of other people, including myself. I'm wondering if we're all being duped here and he's actually a genius. I would like to believe that's what's going on. Anyways, guys, you can let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to my patrons as always, and let's get right into the fan art. <laughs> 